right, the only problem we have left to do on the review, all right, is how to solve for a parabola. All right, so right now, I want you guys to make sure you have this equation written down in your journal. We're going to change it to standard form. By the way, what I'd like you to do to start this problem off is put y minus k squared equals 4 times the value of p, open parentheses, x minus h. I know it's going to be a y minus k squared because I see the little y squared right here. All right? What we're going to do is we're going to take this equation, we're going to change it to standard form, then we're going to find the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and the axis of symmetry. We're going to put that sucker right here in this graph. So, starting off with y squared plus 4y, we're going to put plus, we're going to put an empty box so we can complete the square. Then, everybody, I'm going to take this negative 4x and this positive 12, and I'm going to move it across the equal sign. Now, whenever you move numbers across the equal sign, what are we allowed to do? Change the number. Oh, thank God. Yeah. So we're going to have a positive 4x and a negative 12. All right? Just saves us a little bit of time and energy of having to say, add 4x to both sides and subtract 12 from both sides. All right? Okay. We're almost there. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to put plus another empty box over here because whenever we complete the square on this side, we got to complete the square on this side. So let's add the same number to both sides. Now, this is a very, very easy one to complete because what do we do with the 4? We take half of it and then we square it. So this just becomes a 4 and this becomes a 4. So when you guys take the final, we have to know how to factor this. So we're going to put something squared. And what does this right here become? Y plus 2. All you got to do is look at this middle number right here. If you've completed the square correctly, just take half of that number and add over here. Equal 4x. We've got a negative 12. We've got a positive 4. That makes that a negative 8. So 4x minus 8. Now we're almost done. This part is done. We have y plus 2 squared. That's done. This side, we actually have to factor out the 4. All right, so we're going to factor out the 4. We have an x here. So 4 times what is a negative 8? 4 times a negative 2 is a negative 8. And this right here, everybody, is your standard equation for the parabola. From this, we can grab all the information that we need to grab. All right? The first thing I want you guys to understand is we need to find the value of hk, which is actually the vertex for the parabola. It's going to end up being the, the vertex. Now, we got to be careful because if we look up here, what does this say? This says what? y minus your k value. Ooh, does that say y minus? No, it says y plus. So my k value actually ends up being a what? Negative 2. So right here, for where the value of k is, put a negative 2. Fortunately, this is x minus 8. This is pretty easy. x minus a 2, that means my h value is technically a 2. So this is our vertex. So the very first thing that I would like you guys to do on your graph, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys graph this. You can pause and graph. We have two negative 2. So over here on your graph, I'm going to zoom in so we can see it a lot easier, all right? Zooming in on the graph. I want you guys to put a 2. That's going to be there. 2, negative 2. So 2, negative 2. Put your point right here on your graph. I'm going to label this my vertex. All right? By the way, could you tell me the equation is what? Y plus 2 squared equals 4 parentheses x minus 2. Is that correct? Okay. Now, we know our hk. We just plotted it. That was 2, negative 2. Now, by the way, what does this right here, what does this 4 represent? That represents my value of 4 times p. So what is p going to equal in this particular case? Now, why 
why is that value important? Because that's going to tell me where the focus is and where the directive is. Now, this right here is a Y squared. Remember, Y squareds either eat open to the left or they open to the right. If this value is positive, they open right. If this value right here is negative, they open left. So which direction are we going to open? The right. The right. I, I agree. You're right. You do open to the right. Okay? Which means if I go one unit over and I put a point right here, what does this point to the right of the vertex, what does this point represent in the parabola? The focus where you get the point. That's the ordered pair for the focus. So I want you guys to write down in your journal the ordered pair for the focus is simply 3, comma, negative 2. That's the ordered pair for the focus. Now, if I go over here and put a point one unit away on the other side, and I draw a vertical line going straight down through that point, and I say, this is at x equals 1, what do we call the line x equals 1? What do we call that? The directives. It is time for break. All right, we'll pause. All right, we're back from break. All right. Now, if you're watching the video, it probably doesn't feel like you're back from break because it just keeps going. But I'm going to draw another line right here. Right through here that goes through the focus, through the vertex, but this one is a horizontal line in this particular case. Does anybody know what this particular line is called? That's right, the axis of symmetry. So please put this in your journal so you know how to label the axis of symmetry. This particular line is y equals a negative 2. That's the line right there, y equals negative 2. That's the axis of symmetry. Okay? Now, the only thing that we have left to graph is what's called the lattice vector. Alright? Now, we're going to do this in green. Alright? I'm going to write the words lattice vector. And does anybody know what that is always equal to? The absolute value of? 4P. 4P. Very good. By the way, the lattice rectum always passes through the focus. By the way, what is our absolute value of 4P equal to? In this particular case, what's our equation say it's equal to? 4. So put the lattice rectum is equal to 4 units, which it passes through the what? Through the focus. So right here, I want you guys to go up two units and put a point right here. I want you to go down two units and put a point right there. I want you to carefully label the distance between those two points in your journal as the lattice rectum. Which is an unfortunate word that you have to say when you're pre-passing the teacher, when you're dealing with teenagers. It's not a fun word. It's not a word I look forward to saying. Right. I don't look forward to saying. Right. I already turned off the comments. Okay. If they do, I don't look forward to Alright, so right here, through the vertex, what I want you to do is carefully draw your parabola that goes through this point. And carefully draw going through this point right here. Oh, that's a little bit. There we go. Alright. All I'm looking for when you guys are graphing these is I'm looking for the vertex, I'm looking for your focus, I'm looking for this line called the directrix, I'm looking for this line called the axis of symmetry, and I'm looking for these two points that are created from the distance of the lattice graph. Okay? So right now you should have all the information you need for a parabola. 